and go. So, here's a quick update. I did a few things the last couple days, but I made videos and never uploaded Well, I recorded them and never cut them together. So, still trying to avoid a rig, but I stole Jared's small uh, bracket. I put my tiny rails on it, and this is doable, I think, for now, because it doesn't add that much weight, and the rails make it. So you can throw a follow focus on, which I have done a couple times on some of the lenses. But anyway, but I want to show you something that I learned today for all you people who don't read the manuals like me, because why would you do that? How to get mic input on the mini jack, 3.5, whatever millimeter, whatever the jack is called, mini jack, because for the life of me, I couldn't figure out for a while, because all I could get was line level, and I thought, I gotta throw a mixer on here, the only way to get mic level is gonna be through the XLR, let me show you. Okay, so for all you non-manual readers like myself, you go to the menu, oh, come on. You go to the menu and you go to your audio. Um, all I could do before was I could get the 3.5 millimeter mono or uh, line level. That's all I could seem to do. So I would go through and I'm like, oh no, how come there's no 3.5 mic level? I cruise through, cruise through, cruise through, going like, what's going on? And same thing over here. Well, anyway, long story short, if you go and set your uh, channel one, let's see. One of, I don't know if it's dependent on the other. Okay, so here's our, here's our left side. Camera left, camera mono, XLR line, XLR mic. Okay, great, XLR mic. Line level, line level. Uh, line. Oh, there it is, mic. So if this it does not match, if this one is like turned to something else like the internal mic, it'll allow this one then to jump to the mic level. Because if you have this on, let's see if let me do uh, line. XLR line, it's a different input. Yeah, so these, uh, the 3.5 has to match that one can't be line level, one can't be mic level, which makes sense. But for some reason, in my brain, I never connected the fact that you could maybe turn off one and cycle through and get to the line versus the, the mic level, if that makes sense. So when looking for, because I was having a hard time thinking, okay, if I want to throw a mic on here, I got to get an XLR adapter and it's going to have a little thing that hangs down and it's a pain in the butt. Nope, just make sure you turn off one of the channels to be uh, mic and or line, depending on what you want to do, because they have to match if you're going to do that, or just turn it off, or use the good old scratch track um, and uh, the camera itself, and then you can cycle through whatever you want as far as mic or line level. There you go. You learned something from the internet today, and it's worth it. So the public service announcement today is read your manuals which means you have to plug in the SD card and open it up, or at least download it, because th there's that too. So read your manuals, especially for really simple menus, which you think are really simple, which turns out are not as simple, or they're simple, you just gotta read the manuals because you're, nope, I'm touching that, I should be touching this, because you're not as smart as you thought you were. That would definitely categorize me. All right, back to real work.